and move in there. I think it's a hell of a challenge for him. I mean, he's a sportsman. It must. The only reason I can think is, firstly, he must be really interested in it, and secondly, it must be a massive challenge. And one of the things is he will definitely have to start to listen to his own fears and everything like that, because it is going to be an eye-opener for him to stand alone at night. It's just part of life. Just remember, you're not food for them, but they are scavengers. They can't um, all of a sudden change and make me food for them, can they? If you're going to... Say you're going to lie next to the water and you're not going to move, you're going to be food for them. That's a fact. The heat is going to get to him, definitely. And the food is going to get to him. And it's all in the mind. It's just going to depend on him if he's mentally tuned in. I know the range that my first night was to be at Okanjima Game Lodge, a kind of home for retired cheaters. I know convinced I have nothing to worry about in terms of lions and hyenas. However, snakes, he thought I should have a crash course in. So he arranged for me to meet Austin Stevens, part snake expert, part lunatic. You know what? That's the jipper. It's an Egyptian cobra. Get him to stand up. Come, come, come. There we are, stand still. There we go. They're a beautiful example of an Egyptian cobra. Exactly what I said you could get. I would have thought we'd run into a puff a long before a snake like this. Come. Come closer, you can have a good look at him. When he's cornered like he is now... And he's is he gonna, is he gonna jump at me? No, 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 come closer with me. He's making a quite a noise there. You can hear him hissing a little bit. He's not gonna jump from the side all of a sudden, is he? No. No, if I come too move, close to him, he's going to be upset. But otherwise, look at that beautiful hood. See how no, he watches your movement? That's fine. Come walk around him. Walk around him, watch him follow you. No. If you get his attention with your hand like this, you see, snakes haven't got ears, they don't hear well. You can actually put your hand behind his head, as long as he's watching your other hand, and you can touch him, and he doesn't even know what's going on. Good boy. <laughs> Look at that, isn't he beautiful? He's not going to start running at me from there. No, he would run away he from you, rather. Now walk right around, let him just keep watching you, walk around, and you'll see he'll follow just you. Get his attention, there we go. Getting back to you, Austin. Austin, getting back to you. Thank you. Yeah. Has he got poison stuff in him? Of course he's got poison stuff in him. Well, if it, gets, a... if it gets me, how long have I got? Probably only a couple of hours if you're not treated. If you were bitten in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to die! 